we're playing a 1-2 No Limit Hold'em cash game at the Empire Casino in London. We pick up pocket nines on the button and there is a limp from the hijack. There's a raise to 10 from the cutoff. We elect to make it £35 to go. And I'm mainly three bidding because we're extremely deep in this hand. We're 1100 deep against the hijack. The cutoff has 400. I cover everyone at the table. And I think three bidding is just going to make the hand easier to play. And it also puts other people in the hand into tough spots. We could just call and try and see a flop and try and find a nine. But I think this punishes the limper more heavily. I think this drives the blinds out or forces them to make a mistake. And I think at one, two, most people play quite poorly against three bets. So I'm quite happy to three bet and see a flop. So both players make the call and we are off to a flop, which comes down in nine, three, with two clubs. So I've made it to middle set status. Two players check it over to me. I'm obviously going to bet. I bet £65. It's about 60% of the pot. And the hijack calls and the cutoff folds. Turn card, seven of clubs. Not the ideal turn card. Now we do lose to some flush combos. Uh, when it's checked to us again, we'd definitely be betting. So I continue for £135. And the hijack again calls. Bua comes down, the king of clubs, and now the hijack, who has been playing incredibly passive so far in this hand, elects to lead. He picks up all of his big chips and he instantly leads for £475. We've got a boat, so I think we're pretty lucky to have the best hand here. And the hijack only has £425 back, which is less than min raise. So I pretend to think about it for 30 seconds and then I put hijack all in and he instantly calls. And he then turns over pocket sevens. So he called the flop somewhat wide, he turned a set, gets to the river, fills up, makes a worse full house and then elects to lead and then called off. So we win a £2,300 pot, which is pretty lucky. And that's a pretty good result.